Salute to all the veterans and my fellow brothers and sisters that are currently serving this great nation. And to those that gave their life for the freedoms we enjoy, I know we thank you, not just today, but every day. If you enjoy commentary without all the fluff that's straight to the point, join our family. I'd love to have you. So the self-professed daddy's girl and princess of all Karen, Soho Karen, Miss Mia Pinsetto, appeared in court on Monday, November 8th to answer to the charges surrounding her accusation of attacking 14-year-old Keon Harold Jr. Previously, I had reported that there was an additional charge added to her dossier, which was perpetrating a hate crime in this attack on this child. For her first in-person appearance in the Manhattan Supreme Court, Mia, alongside her attorney, Paul D. Amelia, pleaded not guilty to the hate crime charge. He also stated that she has been seeking therapy because it's so hard to find and that she's trying to schedule her anger management classes back home in California. When she appeared in court, her tone and body language significantly changed so much so that she did not speak in this appearance. I guess she learned from her last outburst. Following her appearance, she was interviewed by the New York Post because now she is a celebrity. And they report that when she was asked about how she feels, Miss Contrite stated that she feels like she made a mistake, which is a stark difference from her appearance before Gail King, where she said, and I quote in her vapid way, I feel sorry that I made the family go through like all the stress. But at the same time, it wasn't just them going through that, you know, it's the victimhood mentality for me. Let's not forget that Mia was the one that enlisted the help of the front desk manager to chase down this child, attempt to attack him over a phone that she has misplaced without so much as a sincere apology. But I digress. Her attorney also let the court know that he is currently waiting for a progress report from her therapist, along with a possible diagnosis. And just like that, we have her lawyer mounting the age-old defense of insanity. I'm not surprised, are you? He also wanted to make it clear to the court that she was having issues getting her anger management session scheduled because he wants her to attend. He closed by saying he is confident that when we are done, as in him and Mia, with that, the anger management and therapy diagnosis, we can reach resolution in this case. I wonder what Keon's father and mother have to say about that. I can assure you, they don't agree. Following the hearing, the attorney, who also is now a celebrity, I guess, let the Daily Mail know that in his opinion, Mia is grossly overcharged and that she was charged with crimes that were greatly enhanced. He said that we don't feel as if those charges are appropriate, but hopefully there's something that we can reach that will be satisfactory to everybody. What's inappropriate is his previous statement saying that these were two young people who had a disagreement over a phone. No, sir. She's a 23-year-old woman who saw a black child with an iPhone and immediately enlisted the help of management to harass and attack this boy to get back a phone that wasn't even hers. And then she goes on national TV and puts on a show as if she's right in accusing this boy. And when questioned by an elder, she tells her to basically shut up, accompanied with hand signals. That's inappropriate. But let's move on. She faces up to 10 years if convicted, and her next court date is scheduled for January 10th. So to summarize all of this, one, Miss America showed up to court dressed to the nines as if she's in a movie. Two, since her court date in June, there has been tremendous difficulty with scheduling what they are now calling anger management classes because for some reason, there's none available in the entire state of California. And three, we are now on to the next phase of not taking accountability by saying that there is a possible mental health issue involved. Sounds about right. As promised, this is the latest update on this case pertaining to Soho Karen, Mia Pinsetto, and her ridiculous behavior toward this child and her not wholeheartedly being apologetic for how she behaved. I will continue to update you on this case and others once the information becomes available to me. Do you think she will be held accountable by serving some jail time? Because that is appropriate 
in my opinion, because as I said before, this is not her first time assaulting someone. I'll link the video of her and her mother nonetheless engaging in mortal combat with the police. If you haven't already, remember to like the video as it helps to grow our channel. Subscribe and turn on your notification bell and please watch when notified. Stay tuned for more and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.